Hello everyone, I'm making this video today in order to promote my new course that I just built. It's the Ultimate Free Code Camp Response Web Design Guide for 2024. It's priced at $55 on um, Udemy right now, but I'm pretty sure I priced it at $40. So I think if you use my referral link, it will be $40. We'll see about that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's 10 and a half total hours and I go through the whole Free Code Camp um, Response Web Design portion all uh, all sections and also inside of the certification projects i do them all in free code camp i don't i don't open up visual studio code it's all using the tools that are handed to me with free code camp why would we why are we doing this because we want to get our certification and we can see our certification if you look on your profile on free code camp and view response web design certification and then there it is so you can put this on like linkedin or your resume stuff like that and people will know hey they did for the free code camp certification and that is approximately 300 hours of work not sure if it takes that long um but it certainly could if uh if you're a beginner and haven't coded before ever so which it is geared to anyone who is just starting out or even if you want to learn just html and css and get better at that um it looks like my competition is walter scott <laughs> Although there's not really anyone that is doing uh, free code camp stuff. So if you want to have it tied to free code camp, do my course. Let's take a look at it now. There's the course um, survey form section. I broke them up into the, the project sections. And um, it tells you how long each of the sections take or how long I made the videos at least. And then in between each part, there's a quiz. So like there's this first quiz, six questions. This one has six questions, I think. Most of them have six or seven questions. Of course, even comes with the practice test at the end. It's 15 questions and hopefully you get 80% correct. I edit the videos, so um, they're not super long either. I also try and explain things thoroughly so that they make more sense to the viewer. Also, this way you won't get stuck in any free CoCamp challenges and uh, because I'm able to explain things and get through all the challenges without too much difficulty. Another reason why you might want to buy a course like this is just to support me. I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. So if you do want to give money to me, just you know buy my course. But make sure that if you do buy my course, use my referral link. Because if you do use my referral link in the description of the video, I get 97% of the revenue. Compared to if you don't use the referral link, then I only get 30% of the revenue. So it makes a huge difference. Another thing is, if you're buying a course for this free code camp section, then it will really motivate you to get done with it and get your certification. Yeah, it is beginner friendly, so anyone can do it. My plan is to also come out with uh, new courses for JavaScript algorithms and data structures, and then also front end development libraries. And, you know, if, if my responsive web design certification does well, then I'll certainly do most of the other free code camp, uh, sections on this and put a course up for those. My goal is to sell 500 copies of this web design, um, guide 2024. And if I do that, I will be extremely happy. I'll like, I'll be blown away if I sell 500 <laughs> and I'll be very appreciative of that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, Make sure to use the link in the description to go to it and, and purchase the course. And I will see you later. Peace out. Bye.